We have come to the end of another long week full of some big local headlines from an airplane crash that killed all three people on board to a new chapter in negotiations between the city of San Antonio and the fire union over a labor contract. RJ Marquez gives us a look back with the week in 210. Three people killed in a plane crash near the San Antonio airport. It happened Sunday after the flight took off from Sugarland and was headed to Bernie. At first, I thought maybe they were trying to make it to the airport, maybe trying to make an attempt of uh, crash landing it on the street. But you can just observe on this on this footage that it just came straight down. The three victims were identified as UTSA student Eric Naranjo, Robert Tyson Womble, and 71-year-old Marine McFerrin Garrow. Investigators believe Womble was the pilot and notified traffic controllers that he had an engine failure but lost contact. A customer shoots and kills a man at a far west side convenience store. Police said Armando Sanabria was threatening a clerk at a Shell gas station on Culebra Road with a gun. One customer in the store used a taser on Sanabria. Once he got up, police say he grabbed his gun, turned towards another customer, and that man shot him. It's unclear if charges will be filed. In the state of Texas, it is legal to carry a weapon and protect yourself and your property. The city of San Antonio and the fire union restarted negotiations this week, this time with a panel of arbitrators. The panel is tasked with ending a years-long stalemate over a labor contract. Negotiations are expected to last another week, and once they reach a decision, it will establish a new binding collective bargaining agreement. San Antonio firefighters have been without a contract since 2014, but an evergreen clause in their previous agreement has kept their pay and benefits in place. A plan to put a migrant shelter for boys at an Eastside church defeated at city council. Council members voted Thursday against granting necessary zoning changes to Vision Quest that would allow the project to go forward. Kids will just pile up at the border in, in really awful conditions in these detention centers and these, these cages essentially. Getting them into shelters that are home-like is, 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 is a good thing. Opponents of the request brought up allegations of mistreatment at other Vision Quest facilities and characterized it as a detention center. This is a for-profit company that's seeking a government contract to make money off of the detention of children. These are detention centers where children are held to be processed. Vision Quest representatives are now looking at all of their options.